Hey everyone, here's exercise 2.5, first question. This is fraction in decimal of class 7. This whole exercise is all about the division. So we have here dividing, like we're dividing a decimal number by a whole number. The first question is all about that. You're dividing a decimal number by a whole number. So let's see how to divide these numbers. So the first question here is 0 0.4 divided by 2. So when you're dividing a decimal number by whole number, how to do it? So you have learned how to convert a decimal number into fraction in your lower classes, right? So here also, so this is equal to 0 0.4 divided by, I'm writing this in a fractional form, okay? Now I want, what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this decimal point. So what you can see that our decimal point, I have one digit. So you have learned how to write down this, right? You have learned this in fourth and fifth class. 0 0.4 is equal to 4 upon 10. Yes, you have learned this, right? At a decimal point, I have one digit. So in the denominator, I'll get 10. If we have a two digit, you will get 100. Like that many zeros you're going to have in the denominator. I have one digit, so one, uh, like I'll get one zero, that is 10 I'll get. If you have a two digit at a decimal point, you're going to get 100 in the denominator. Suppose you have 0 0.34, so this is equal to 34 upon 100. Okay, that's it. So we're going to convert this into first a fractional form and then we're going to divide it. So here also, if you see, I'm going to remove the decimal point. So this will be equal to 4 upon 2 multiplied by 10. Now why I said 2 multiplied by 10? Because 0 0.4 is equal to 4 upon 10. But here we already have a 2 in the division, right? So and 10 here also is in division. So these two numbers will get multiplied. Both will be in the denominator and they get multiplied. So 2 into 10 will get. Now we have to divide them. So we have to cancel them if possible or if you don't know cancellation, just divide them. So here I'm going to cancel them. I'm going to try to cancel it. So this is 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4. You can see I got 2 upon 10. Now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to cancel this further. If I cancel this also, I'm going to get same answer. If you see, I have already 10 in the denominator, right? So this will be equal to, now convert back into decimal. It will be 0 0.2. This also you have learned in your lower classes. If you have a 10, 100 in, this, in the de denominator, you can convert back into decimal. After that money, like I have a 10, so after one digit from the right side, I have to put decimal. So after two, I have placed a decimal. That's it. If you divide this, you will get 1 by 5. If you divide 1 by 5, you again get 0 0.2. Same answer you get. So I'm just excluding that step. I'm directly writing it. So 0 0.2 is the answer. So next one. Here we have 0 0.35 divided by 5. Now this is equal to 0 0.35 divided by 5. Here we have 0 0.35. So you can see two digits are there. So if I open this up, if I remove decimal, it will be 35 divided by 5 multiplied by 100. Now cancel the numbers. So 5 ones are 5 sevens are 35. So this is equal to 7 upon 100. Again, I'm not gonna like we cannot cancel in this case. So convert this back into decimal. We have a two zeros in the denominator. So in the numerator, that is seven. Uh, to this number, we have to put decimal after two digit from right side. So seven. There's a no number. So zero point zero. So zero point zero seven is the answer. Then the next one, third question. Two point four eight divided by four. So this is equal to so two point four eight we have two point four eight divided by four remote decimal it will be two forty eight after decimal we have two digit two digits of four multiplied by hundred. Now cancel four and two forty eight. Four ones are four, four six are twenty four, four twos are eight. So we got here. 62 upon 100 we can I see we can still cancel it but I'm not canceling it because I have 100 in the denominator I'm going to directly write down the answer so this will be so 26.0 because we have two zeros in denominator after two digit from right side we have to place decimal if you cancel the 62 upon 100 you will get 31 upon 50 right again if you cancel if you divide that further divide okay you'll get same answer so i am just excluding that that extra step i'm solving it directly then the next one fourth question 
65.4 divided by 6 so this is equal to 64 65.4 divided by 6 now remove decimal it will be 65 sorry 6 54 divided by 6 multiplied by 10 because after decimal we have only one digit that is 4 now cancel this I'm gonna I'll try to cancel the direct in six table if you want to cancel this in two table and three table you can go with that um here I'm gonna cancel directly in a uh, uh, six table right so here uh, or you can okay six ones are six here six ones are six now we have 54 right so it will be uh, see first we have a 5 we cannot cancel 5 right so 0 I'll gonna place now you consider 54 6 9s are 54 so it will be 109 it is not 19 why because we have cancelled first 6 ok 6 ones are 6 now we have to cancel 5 now but 5 doesn't go there right in the five, in the 6 table so we have to put 0 now you consider 54 so it will be 6 9s are 54 so that's why we got 500 sorry 109 not 19 if you write 19 it will go wrong so it will be equal to 109 divided by 10 so we have 10 in denominator from right side you have to put decimal so 9.01 so that is 10.9 is the answer the next one fifth question we are doing so 6 5 651.2 divided by 4 so 651.2 divided by 4 now remove decimal it will be 6 5 1 2 upon 4 multiplied by 10 so for decimal we have one digit so that's why I got 10 in the denominator now try to cancel this number I'll try to cancel directly in 4 table you can cancel this in 2 table if you want so uh, 4 ones are 4 so we have 6 so 4 ones are 4 2 will be the remainder that makes a number 25 the next number so 4 6 are 24 1 is again a remainder I got 11 so 4 2 is a 8 I got 3 and 4 uh, we got 32 right so 4 8s are 32 so this is equal to 1628 divided by 10 so we have 10 it is like only one zero so after from right side so eight point two so one sixty two point eight is the answer the next one six question so fourteen point four nine divided by seven so this is equal to fourteen point four nine divide by 7 now remove decimal point so 1449 divide by 7 multiplied by 100 now you can see this number directly you can cancel in 7 table 7 1 is a 7 7 2 is a 14 okay first two digits I have cancelled now next I have to cancel 4 but 4 we cannot cancel it's smaller than 7 so you put 0 then you take 49 together so 7 7 is a 49 in case the cancellation is confusing you you can divide the number separately and you can get the answer or if you have your own way of cancellation you can go for it we are going to get same answer so this is equal to 207 divided by 100 so two digits we have so from right side that is 7 then 0 you put decimal and then we got 2 so 2.07 is the answer then the seventh one So 3.96 divided by 4. So this is equal to 396. Sorry, 3.96 divided by 4, which is equal to remove the decimal. So we have two digits. So I'll get 100 in the denominator. So 396 divided by 4 multiplied by 100. Now can we cancel this in four table? Yes, we can cancel directly in four table. Four ones are four. So four fours are is uh, sorry four nines are is 36. So 3 is a remainder, again we got 36, right? 3 is a remainder, I am going to put along with 6, let's make the number 36. So 4 nines are 36 again. So we got here 99 upon 100. So convert this into decimal, so it will be 99.0. Now we have last question. So we have 8th question now. So 0 0.80 divided by 5. 
so this is equal to 0 0.80 upon 5 remove decimal so it's 80 upon 5 into 100 now cancel this directly in 5 table 5 ones are 5 this also 5 ones are 5 3 is a remainder that makes the number like 30 so 5 6 are 30 so we got 16 so 16 upon 100 so we have two zeros in the denominator so it will be 6 1 and then decimal and then 0 so 0 0.16 is the answer so that's it i hope this question is clear how to divide a decimal number by whole number in upcoming questions like second and third question we're going to learn how to divide with a 10 100 and 1000 and later how to divide a decimal number by decimal number now in case you have further question on the division of decimals you can drop a comment i'll try to answer it thank you so much for watching